Um, let's get to the game of the week, guys. This is the game of the week. And my Bruce Buffer voice, let's get ready to rumble. Super Bowl rematch, Chiefs and Niners. Look ahead here with San Fran minus two. Just a little early appetite for the dog. We'll get to Mahomes' numbers as a dog in a minute. But San Fran off the mini buy. That is worth noting. Um, they have extra rest for this game. Um, the Chiefs have double extra rest, though, because they're off the real buy. Um, and we all know about the Andy Reid off the buy stats. So you get all these rest stats that will give you trends. And the Mahomes trend, 11-1-1 ATS as a dog. But that one loss was in the regular season. He is unblemished in the postseason against the spread mm-hmm. as a dog. Um, I will kick it around the panel here. Um, it, Fez, looks like you just doubled down on this game. Yeah, I'm going to go. I, I, we're we're going to debate the total on the side. You know what? The more I think about this, Kansas City, they're no better than the other four elite teams in the NFL. They're not going 17-0. and 0. I mean, they're going to go 13-4, and 4, and that means they got to lose. Wait. Wait for, yeah, four games. So, and this will be one of them because they don't need the game. Now, they've been great under Andy Reid, under out, off a of bye. But in recent years, when they've been having a good year and they get a bye, they actually haven't come out and played all that well. And San Fran, I mean, they're still looking at this. If they want to have some home games in the playoffs, they have to start winning. And because of that, I mean, they've, they've got their mini bye anyways with the 10 days. So the rest is no big deal. My gut says the Niners win the game, so I'm going to play the Niners, and I am going to play the over, and a big part of the over is if I just look at the yards per play on both teams, I'm at 5.7, so way bigger than the league average, 5.4. People think Purdy is a game manager. Purdy is styling. I got two. I'm going to make it. I got two top eight quarterbacks, and I got a total at 47. I'm going over. In what world do we exist that – Kansas City and San Francisco are playing, and I haven't heard a word about it anywhere. I mean, nobody's talking about this game because We're there are so many right good. <gasps> there are so many good matchups this week. I mean, seriously, there are good you, this week. Uh, you know, Houston Green Bay is interesting. Uh, Detroit Minnesota looks very interesting. You know, even Monday night is interesting. You know, even the 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 boy, the most nauseating matchup possible usually pittsburgh uh jets even that is interesting and uh, kansas city san started. francisco is getting lost in the shuffle somehow so and i agree with what steve just said kansas city has to lose sometime so you, you and that's what i was kind of thinking every which way i look at this game though you know kansas city is the better team San Francisco has leaks in the armor. They're not in the top half of the league defensively. They're not approaching. Well, they are okay. And they are in the top five offensively, but their defense is a sieve. And I don't know what's ever going to, what's, what's going to make it better. Did, you know, did they inject uh, somebody new into the lineup? No, that's their defense at this point. Uh, So, Kansas City is the better team. They're the more deliberate team. They can control the the game, I think, better than San Francisco can control the game. The way that I want to attack this game, though, is because these two teams are too so tight, is I don't know how the hell you can go wrong with a teaser on this with Kansas City. It's just it it's just really good. It, it's a good situation. Uh is Kansas City off a bye? Yes, Chiefs off the buy, Niners off the mini buy. This Hector kid, chimed in. Um, I appreciate Hector's comment here. He said, "Let's get ready to rumble." It's Michael Buffer, not Bruce Buffer. You're right. I think I can get sued for that too because they have like copyrights against it. So does Andy Reid do well off the buy? <laughs> I forget. Yeah, I've heard he does okay off the buy. Um, uh, right, my so. guess is that's a tough that I Fez like that 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 trend means nothing this week. The Niners are off the mini buy. To me, that trend matters when the other team's not on long rest. I agree. Oh, yeah. bah humbug. It's Andy Reid's bah, extra time to prepare specifically for a team. Hey, I love that, Andy Reid. That Reed. is true. I love, I love Andy Reid and all that he does. So, The reason that I'm going to bet the under in this game is simply uh, just a little bit of, I guess this is transitive property. Fez is probably going to hate this. The Super Bowl total was 47 and a half. Rasheed Rice, Christian McCaffrey, and Isaiah Pacheco played in that game. How can it be the same total in a regular season game? I, it's the same lineups minus those guys. 
Like, Fez, explain that to me. Like, am I crazy for using that as the reason for liking the under here? I'd make the case that the San Fran defense has been way worse this year than last year. They That's never seem fair. to have recovered from, you know, when, when Greenlaw got hurt and and they and they had a couple other guys out and they never seemed to have, like, returned to their form last year. That's fair. But, I mean, just from a – in a vacuum, like, these offenses are worse than the Super Bowl offenses. It's oh, impossible no, to deny that. Oh, this San Fran offense is really playing at an extremely high level. Yeah, I, they don't have Christian before. McCaffrey. I, 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 I know, but I, I, I'm a stat guy. I just look at the underlying. They're getting six and a half yards per play. I mean, that yeah. is. I mean, that is just. I'm. I, I don't have the number in front of me of what they were last year, but I mean, that's elite. I mean, nobody ever go, goes to seven for a season. Yeah, I, I would. I think it's safe to assume that that won't continue, right? I mean, six and a half yards per play is really tough to sustain that. But I, again, maybe you feel free to fade the picks this week, guys. Again, I'm just. I've had a rough couple of weeks. I'm just kind of shooting from the hip here. But the way I saw this game was the defenses might be slightly worse, but the offenses, I think, especially Kansas City's, significantly worse. Like the path for Kansas City to win this game is to control the clock, get Kareem Hunt going and play defense as best you can and win this game 23-21. Like, that's the path for Kansas City. The path for San Francisco, I think there's multiple paths. But to me, if Andy Reid's going to have his way, he's going to play bully ball, he's going to control the clock, and this is going to be a low-scoring tight game. And I, I think that's the only way Kansas City can win this game. So call me the undertaker this week. I'm going under 47, Niners and Chiefs, Super Bowl rematch. Fez likes the over, Fez likes the Niners, and Chris is putting the Chiefs in a teaser. 